Zelda Theory, Who Cursed Ikana Canyon, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, by Dr. Wily. Ikana Kingdom, the land where the dead roam. But who caused all of this? Time to find out. It's that- That was 14 seconds as an intro. Short, snappy. I like it. Could it have done something else a little more? Maybe. But like 9 out of 10, that was solid. Time again, it's Halloween. So time to get your costume and go trick or treating. Well, I'm 17, so I guess I will stop doing that. Got Instead, him. we're going to take a look at one of the most scary places in the Legend of Zelda. No, not the Shadow Temple. No, not the Twilight Realm. No, no, the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Just look at it. It's full of dark and scary vibes from the final hours to the depressing characters in the game. But we're not <laughs> looking at that. Today, we're going to take a look at Ikana Valley, the Cursed Kingdom. There are a total of four regions in the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Woodfall, Snowhead, the Great Bay and Ikana Canyon. Most of these areas are not really scary. They are depressing, true, but not scary or creepy in any way. But one no, a lot of Majora's Mask, because Majora's Mask do deals with a lot of darker themes and arguably more mature themes. Um, it is actually my favorite Zelda game. Sorry, not a not a big fan of Breath of the Wilds or Tears of the Kingdom. I, I apologize to the those fans out there. Uh, I'm awful at building games. There's just uh, a little too much for me to to grasp on, firmly grasp it, if you will. Right. Um, it's probably going to be like Majora's, Wind Waker, Twilight in that order as my top three. So you're welcome in the comment section down below for that war that's about to ensue. However, Majora's Mask, despite being my favorite game, uh, a lot of people don't get it. A lot of people just don't get it and that's perfectly fine you know i can explain the three-day system i can explain how the game works to people but it just doesn't doesn't vibe with people if you will um and, and that's you know that that's just part of the game the game i would argue is a cult classic uh and and the regions you know uh there's the whole theory about how termina is dealing with the five stages of grief which i think for all instance purposes has been disproven by an official nintendo thing of well that's like a restrictive way of looking at it um somebody would have to quote me on that though but Ikana has always been that one that that it just kind of pushes that bar. And even then, to this day, we still really don't know a whole heck of a lot about Ikana, specifically Tones his own tower temple, why there's all the little divots in the side and stuff. There were old theories about, you know, precursors to the Rito or the Terminator version of the Rito being able to, you know, nest in there, maybe bird people. Um, you know, there, there's just a lot going on with Ikana. One of them is Ikana Valley. The land where only the dead roam. It is a kingdom found in the eastern regions of Termina. The kingdom has gone through years and years of bloody wars under the leadership of their king, Igas du Ikana. Eventually the kingdom was all but abandoned and destroyed and became a wasteland. But how did this happen? How did it turn from- Actually, uh, I think it's- but Abandoned and That cave right there. Uh, in the 3D version, I think it's that one right there. If you go into it, there's kind of like a Majora altar kind of thing or, or Majora glyphs in the cave where in the N64 version, none of that was present. So that's one of those that I was watching. I can't remember whose video it was, but they brought up the fact that there's like Majora carvings in there. And that is just in, an incredible thing that the remake has done. Uh, 3D, right, has done over the original. Um, and I don't really see enough attention brought to it, but I guess it might just be that one Majora's Mask already is a cult classic, too. You know, what's there to really cover about it? Hi, it exists. This this is the thing. What does it mean? I don't know. It's it's here. It's, you know, potentially maybe where Majora was sealed within the mask. You know, it, it could be a number of things, right? It could be where Majora's mask was created. Um, you know, we have Stone Tower Temple itself, which, uh, you know, where, where the Twin Mold boss fight is, is allegedly where the mask was sealed. That's where the Happy Mask Salesman got into it. Of course, Skull Kid stole it and set the events of Majora's mask in motion. But yeah, this cave, very interesting. And destroyed and became a wasteland. But how did this happen? How did it turn from a kingdom into a complete wasteland? Let's take a look at the bloody war that raged through the kingdom for many years. The Great War of Ikana happened prior to the events of the game. The war was one of the most vague and mysterious aspects of the Legend of Zelda series. Yeah. The war is never spoken of in depth, but rather hinted at several times during Link's time in Ikana. It would appear that the Ikana royal family was forced to defend the land of Ikana from the enemy Garo tribe. The Garo are a race cloaked in robes and armed with daggers. The Garo are an ancient race skilled in the arts of ninjutsu. Pamela's father reveals that the Garo were spies of a foreign nation. 
delegation sent to investigate Ikana's defenses. The that art of the Garo leader honestly goes hard. I, I haven't even seen that. I also noticed um uh whoever it was back here we were looking at, they have the uh Egos Duakana. It looks like he has the razor sword, the upgraded version of the hero sword. Not gilded, but like the the middle one that can break. Looks very reminiscent of that, which is super interesting. And all like the designs here for the Stalfos, um, these are during the boss fight, right? The they are they kind of almost feel like they were design inspiration for some of the Wind Waker enemies. Like this this feels very Earth Temple to me. You know, the Stalfos in there, the ones that have the giant uh, spiked maces and stuff. Honestly, it's super cool to just see how Zelda over the years has really evolved. Um, but no, there, there's a lot of people that have Re reasonably drawn a parallel between Akana and Hyrule, which has led to the speculation and theories about and theories bound of how uh, it mirrors what happens in Ocarina of Time and how the Garo are, are the Sheikah and you know uh, the uh, the Akana people are the Hylians and it, it's just it's rather fa it's a rather fascinating rabbit hole to dive into despite there being a lack of much definitive information. The Ikana forces probably found out that the Garo were spying on them, and thanks to that, the Great War broke out. Captain Kita, also known as Skull Kita, serves the Ikana royal family as a military general for the Kingdom of Ikana. Captain Kita was placed in charge of the Ikana army by the King Igos to Ikana. Eventually he lost a great battle, however he tells Link, since being shamed by loss in battle within my kingdom, I have waited here for one to come and awaken my soul. This likely explains the reasoning behind him and his men being found in Ikana graveyard. The time came that the doors of the Stone Tower Temple were opened, unleashing a dread curse upon Ikana that transformed most of its inhabitants into undead beings. Kita and his forces were turned into stealth children. The Ikana royal family has also been cursed to live on as undead skeletons. However, Pamela's father tells Link, the Garo have also been unable to forget their living days. Even now their spirits, emptiness cloaked in darkness, continue to spy, revealing that the Garo are in fact undead as well as the Stelfos like Ikanas. The fact that they are spying even beyond death implies that they did not achieve a complete victory. This does not fully explain however why the land of Ikana is an undead wasteland. The answer to this likely resolves around the Stone Tower Temple. At the behest of the King of Ikana, Link scales the Stone Tower using the Elegy of Emptiness to create hollow shells of his alternate forms. These are used to hold down foot switches, which control blocks moving them over gaps to act like bridges. So the elegy, or elegy, I, I don't know the actual pronunciation, I've heard both. So that song in particular is interesting because I feel that when it comes to being able to have quality of life features, right? Um, it, it is one of those songs that makes the base game tedious a little bit. As somebody that loves it, right? My favorite Zelda game. Would I recommend it? Oh God, it's it's an anxiety riddled nightmare. I, I can't in good faith recommend it, but it is one of my favorite Zelda games. It, one of my favorite games ever. Let's be real. Um, the way that randomizers I've seen do it is that the D-pad actually functions to hold your three transformation masks, your Deku Mask, Goron Mask, Zora Mask, as well as your Ocarina. Being in base game, right? Uh, if you're using the LG of Emptiness and you're having to swap between things, you have to get your Ocarina off. You know, either you hard camp the Ocarina in these sections, or um, you know, you know, you got to you got to swap off, and it just can get a little tedious, especially if you get the the puzzle wrong, or maybe you drop Goron Link on one of the switches, and then you get up to up there and you forget you have Goron Mask on. Like th that's that's user error. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's one of those things I feel that modern advancements such as randomizers have fixed. And it actually is interesting to see if there was ever a switch port of 3D. I would love to see that integrated. Um, we, we never will, obviously. Um, I'm actually curious about the uh, the coding that goes into that in regards to making such a quality of life feature. But it, ma it makes it, these parts so much easier. It makes the gameplay so much smoother. Older Zelda games definitely have a... Uh, uh, a switch fatigue, if you will, such as Ocarina of Time. I have probably played Majora's Mask in order to play Ocarina. The temple is often spoken of as a cursed place, and when the Masked One opened the doors to the temple, evils were unleashed into the world. Inside Stone Tower Temple, Link defeats Twin Mold and obtains the remains, lifting the curse in Ikana. But who is the Masked One? Skull Kid, maybe? No, 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 no. Ikana seems to have been cursed for ages, and Skull Kid yeah. just recently entered Termina with Majora's Mask. 
Denpei even says that his grandfather once told him the origin of Captain Kita's remains, implying that the war ended in a distant past. Pamela's father has also been in Ikana way longer than Skullgate. He's a scientist that specializes in researching supernatural phenomena. Prior to the events of the game, Pamela's father moved to Ikana Canyon together with his daughter to study paranormal activities there. They made their I do love that there's the Ofuda inside the uh, the closet. I think they're great, the ceiling tags. Home in the music box house at the top of the canyon. Here he conducts experiments on the undead, fairies, ghosts and other supernatural beings. When Link first meets him, it is revealed that he has been mutated into Egypto at some point, after traversing the caverns below the empty well. By playing the song of healing for him, Link can help Pamela's father revert back to his original state receiving the Gipto mask in the process. Pamela's father seems to have no recollection of being a Gipto, and Pamela herself states Link should not speak to her father, because his strange power would provoke her father into delving deeper into his studies. Pamela's father seems to be unafraid of Ikana's supernatural state, and has developed a plethora of safety mechanisms after years of studying such creatures. Such as the song The Giant Music Box atop of the house plays Farewell, to, Gipto. Farewell to Gyptos to keep himself and his daughter safe. In addition to his extensive knowledge of Garros and Gyptos, he appears to possess a heightened sensitivity to such apparitions. As a result, speaking to him while wearing the Deku Mask, Goron Mask or Zora Mask causes his ghost radar to react fiercely. <laughs> but who is the mask? I actually didn't know that. That's actually really cool. One. Well, it must be someone who is interested in bringing down the Ikana Kingdom. It must be the Garo. Various Garos can be found throughout the canyon. If Link okay. wears the Garo mask, where Tettle senses a thirst for blood, a Garo will appear and believing Link to be its master. The Garo will quickly realize that Link is not who he appears to be and will attack. I don't know. Like, that's a weird one. That's a weird conclusion to jump through. I don't. I think that it's the necessary and logical step. However, what. The Garo will say before blowing himself up um, is that uh, we Garo, what is it? Um, we 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 move, we uh, uh, pass on without leaving a corpse. That is the Garo way. Like, it, I guess it depends because would they mummify themselves? Would they turn themselves into the undead to continue this crusade against Akana? I don't think so. I think that it was the effect of Stone Tower on both sides. Attack him. If slain, they will acknowledge Link's skill and reveal their wisdom, giving hints that help Link in his quest through Ikana Canyon. The one who probably caused all of this is their master. The Garo master is a mini boss in the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Yeah, he's, cool. he's larger, quicker, and more skilled than the normal Garo's. The Garo master carries fiery blades into battle. He may be encountered three times during a three day cycle, only the first of which is mandatory to complete the game. The Garo Master appears as a mini boss of the Stone Tower Temple, so he is most likely the person who released the curse upon himself, his people, and the Ikana Kingdom. However, we have two mini bosses in Stone Tower Temple. We also have Gomez, who, you know, very classic Reaper death vibe, right? Like, literally has a scythe and bats. This also caused the conflict to never end, because all of the fallen soldiers have risen again, and now they are undead, so they will return back to life every time. But there's a second person who could have caused all of this. The court composers of the Ikana royal family, Sharp and Flat. They were composers held in high regards to the kingdom of Ikana. However, Sharp sold his soul to the devil and betrayed his brother by sealing him beneath the graveyard. One of Licensed Nintendo game, by the way. Actual line that says, uh, he sold his soul to the devil. Licensed Nintendo product, by the way. Sharp statements <laughs> seems to indicate that he was trying to attempt to revive the Ikana royal family and that during his pursuit he gave in to evil. His brother Flat swore revenge against his brother's betrayal and to this end he composed a song known as the Song of Storms. Suffused with the sadness and anger he held against his brother, Link eventually comes to Termina and finds the grave of Flat in the Ikana graveyard. Flat's ghost teaches him the Song of Storms and asks him to cleanse his brother of evil. Link enters Ikana Canyon, where the river has dried up. He travels to the Springwater Cave that serves as a source of Ikana's water. Suddenly, the voice of Sharp is heard and the ghost of Sharp manifests himself. He tells Link to leave the cursed land of Ikana and starts playing a song known as the Melody of Darkness, slowly sapping 
Link's health. If Link plays the Song of Healing, Sharp will comment that though soothing, the song has no effect on him. However, if Link plays the Song of Storms, the evil within Sharp's heart will be dispelled. Sharp realizes his terrible mistake and begs his brother for forgiveness. He thanks Link for breaking the curse placed on him and asks him to free Ikana from its curse. And then he departs from the land of Termina. So maybe while looking for a way to revive the Ikana royal family, he stumbled upon Skull Kid and Majora. Majora has enough power to curse Ikana and it would explain why the curse is lifted as soon as Twinmold is killed. So now it's time to decide. Who cursed Ikana Valley? Well, you decide. Tell me in the comments who of the two possible groups cursed Ikana Canyon, Sharp and Skull Kid or the Garrow Master and his servants. Now, before you go, my friend M Productions also made a Halloween special for his channel. It's a Zelda-themed machinima, so click here to check it out. And what if you're interested in the wars of the Legend of Zelda? Well, you can always go to Commonwealth. He made a couple of videos about the wars in the Legend of Zelda. So, go check it out. I wish all of you a happy Halloween and thanks for watching and don't forget to check out my other videos and the video of M Productions. So, I loved it. I thought it was honestly pretty great. You, you see why, even to this day, there is so much speculation that surrounds Majora's Mask. And there's, 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 just, just, there's just enough to fuel speculation. And it, it has a very gripping and interesting story. And it's told in a way that, like all good stories, right? It, it doesn't give you everything. It allows you to make your own assumptions, make, draw your own conclusions with the information presented. Um, there's, there's enough interesting imagery and contrasting imagery even because stone tower temple um the, one of the mechanics is i don't know if you can see between my horns the little head on the temple there's a little uh ruby on it um you use light arrows to flip the temple upside down so there's a very you could argue a very heaven and hell earth and sky uh duality to the temple itself um the way that i always understood and this is just headcanon i have nothing to actually prove this is that the no, the, the the mask was sealed away within effect within the stone tower temple in Twinmold's boss room, and the evil of the mask kind of just corrupted everything around it. In regards to a specific masked one and cursing the stone tower temple, I could reasonably see a conclusion drawn by making uh, making an argument that the Garo master was the one that did it. However, as Cobalt uh, uh, Cobalt Lighting in uh, chat has said, quote unquote, to pass on without leaving a corpse, that is the way of the Garo. That logic from the garo master would inherently contradict not only the uh the, the way of the garo their their philosophy but even his philosophy as well would it not um we also have things like gomez in the you know as as the second mini boss of the temple um there's there's a lot to really unpack there um and in regards to flat and sharp i mean it sounded like the royal family had already passed on at that point, but they hadn't exactly become the undead. So I think that flat is a, a yeah, I think logically drawing a conclusion that it could be flat is that as well. Um, I think we could get into an argument in regards to the case, especially in the 3D because we are using 3D here. So I think it would be fair to look at the most updated and recent version to look at that cave I mentioned earlier and to see uh, what what ha what was in that cave. You know, it's it's linked to the mask itself. So it's interesting to to speculate about. I guess if I had to pick something, it's definitely not Skull Kid. It's definitely not Skull Kid. It might be Majora's Mask in some aspect, but not in any way, shape, or form after the Happy Mask salesman retrieves it and Skull Kid takes it because this has been going on for a hot minute, like the video said. So, I mean, you could potentially even argue kind of a... Uh, What's the Star Wars thing? Star Wars, Legends, Darth Bane, the Thought Bomb or whatever. How it just like, you know, took all the Jedi and the Sith in that specific area and just like uh, entrapped them in that. It's it's a uh, mutually assured destruction, right? I don't think it's the Garo. I think the Garo ended up getting caught in that. I think, it, you know, it kind of maybe they had a weapon or something that they used. Uh, depends who or what could have used the mask. The mask could have also been a third party, right? We know Majora's mask uh, was used by an ancient tribe in their hexing rituals. But I digress. This is an awesome video. You should go check it out in the description down below. I have a link to uh, to the channel to this video as well. Let me know what you think and definitely go to the video and see what uh, you know speculations and discussions they're having over on the, uh, the video over there. As always, when I react to somebody new, I one try to be as transformative and you know, 
uh, 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 commentative as possible. However, if the original creator doesn't like it, if the original creator doesn't want any sort of reactions to other content, as always, I'm you know a business email way. I'm more than happy to comply with the original creator's wishes. Um, but I hope this was able to bring to light a something that I'm passionate about and something that maybe you didn't know about or something that might interest you or something that happens to be your your specialty and you can go on paragraphs about uh, Ikana. <laughs> Let me know. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.